Good Wednesday, Wednesday, Wednesday morning, everybody. Thanks for joining us on the News Channel 3 video weather blog, Weather Overtime. Once again, for today, we're going to kind of skip some of the stuff that we usually talk about and get to some of the more important information as we have a large and very dangerous hurricane making its way through the Caribbean, almost into the Bahamas this morning, still a Category 3, and looking like Matthew is going to be coming a lot closer to Florida in the course of the next several days. So if you have any travel plans for that area, now may be a very good time to make certain that you cancel them or reposition them somehow, postpone them at some point in time. We're not seeing too much of anything in the way of problems here in the Mid-South area. Currently seeing, again, some very warm numbers. We'll get to that coming up here in just a little bit. We do have some scattered showers popping up early this morning. Not a lot of activity, the occasional rumble of thunder, but again, most of what we're looking at for right now is, again, the scattered showers out there. We are picking up some rumbles of thunder just to the west of the Covington area briefly and some more showers starting to pop up in to around the area just north of Tunica and the Mississippi River and most of the activity we're looking at back to the west of us has been moving our direction but as it moves it's going to be going into fairly dry air which is why these areas of showers and thunderstorms have not really developed into anything more than what they are now so not really a great deal of anything major taking place but an occasional raindrop or two that could be a bit of a problem into the course of the rest of the morning so we'll be watching that with a lot of interest forecast at the bottom of the screen wish those numbers were a little bit better but as of right now it's looking at the possibility of seeing some very mild numbers out across much of the area today into the morning hours and temperatures Temperatures by this afternoon could be back in the lower 90s with again mostly sunny skies after the chance of these move their way on out of the picture. Low temperatures tonight going to be going back into around the mid to upper 60s at best so not exactly all that cool across much of the area. Temperatures right now not doing too bad upper 60s to lower 70s. Next three hours numbers will be increasing through the lower 80s by late this morning and again keep in mind that normal high temperatures for this time of the year are back into the lower 80s and we are going to be going way beyond that in the course of the next few hours. View from Windy Country Club on the screen behind the graphic information for forecast numbers and again high 80s as we get into the rest of the afternoon. With again not doing too bad for any outdoor activities, should not have too much of a major problem with the exception of some rather heavy amounts of heat out there compared to what we should have for this time of the year. So please keep that in mind if you're heading out the door pretty soon and picking up the kids from school, marching band, football, soccer practice after school. It's going to be hot out there, so make certain you stay well hydrated into the course of the next several hours. Matthew continues over parts of the Caribbean, now making its way back to the north and to the west by just a little bit. Finally got over its wibbly wobbly stage over portions of areas south of Haiti and is now making its way up into the northeast. Winds are at 115 miles an hour. That's a decently strong category three storm and over the course of the next few days no real good news at this point as the forecast track is going to be taking it very close to Florida and we'll continue to see that throughout the course of the next few days. The area in orange, we have tropical storm watches in effect for areas in and around the Florida Keys and out into around southeastern parts of the state of Florida. Actually, tropical storm warnings, those have been upgraded at this point in time. The area in red around Miami, those are now hurricane warnings just off the coast of Miami. And as we go into the next few days, a good possibility of seeing more of those warnings going up the east coast of Florida toward Georgia as the storm system decides to move its way upwards and hug the coastline. We're going to be seeing the storm through this afternoon, uh, Category 3. Keep in mind, though, as we go throughout the next several hours, that it's going to be moving over areas of the Bahamas, and the waters here are very much on the warm side, and that is exactly what these things need to develop even further. A matter of fact, the current forecast holds Matthew as becoming a Category 4 again into the areas of the Bahamas, and that is not good news as we go throughout the course of the next several days. The rest of the forecast track taking it very close to the Florida coastline. Now the area in red that you see the icons nearby, that's the most likely track into and around the course of the next few days. You're looking also at this white area, the forecast cone of uncertainty. The storm system could go anywhere within these lines. It could go farther outwards into around portions of the western Atlantic going away from shore, but it also could easily track onto areas of eastern Florida, including right on over Miami. This is a dangerous storm system. Category 4 winds of 130 miles per hour approaching the southeast coast 
coast of the Florida area around Miami. If you have any plans to be heading anywhere in Florida from the Keys up to the Panhandle, you may want to think about an idea of going the opposite direction, at least for the time being, and letting the storm system play out as it gets into the next few days. And by next week, this will be gone. We're also looking at Tropical Storm Nicole over parts of the area into the area of the central and western Atlantic, close to Bermuda, but not a threat to the United States so far. This is a chart listing the possibility of hurricane force winds, and as you can see, that threat is going to be increasing through the Bahamas as we go through this afternoon and into tomorrow afternoon. Better possibility of seeing hurricane force winds right off the coast of Miami and into around the area of the Grand Banks and way back on up to just to the east of the Keys and moving that direction as we get into around this weekend or so. As the storm system begins to work its way out, it's expected to take a little bit more of a turn out and into the waters of the western Atlantic. So it doesn't look like it's going to be a threat for the entire area, but again, we're going to be seeing the possibility of some devastating winds in the Bahamas and also into and around the area of close to the eastern shoreline of Florida. So this is a storm you're going to want to try to avoid at all costs. Do not go into these areas as evacuations are starting to be ordered. The Gulf Coast not seeing too much of a problem. The East Coast states that's where we're going to be seeing again the possibility of these winds causing problems from around Miami all the way up the coastline to possibly around the outer banks of the Carolinas. That could be a bit of a problem and if this storm system decides to hug the coast and stick around into around parts of the area of the Atlantic it could be a possible problem problem for areas up into around the coastal states around Chesapeake Bay and New England. Now that appears to be less likely as the storm curves out into the areas of the western Atlantic, but we will be watching that with a lot of interest. Other problem we've got is with lack of rainfall. We have been dry for the month of October so far and September. We barely even got an inch of rainfall, two-thirds of an inch if I'm not mistaken on that. So we continue to be very dry into parts of the Mid-South area. Wildfire danger, we are currently at an elevated risk for wildfires across much of the Mid-South area, especially northern Mississippi where drought conditions have taken hold. 20 counties in Mississippi are now under burn bans. These five are the ones in effect for the News Channel 3 viewing area and others exist outside the viewing area, but these are the ones we wanted to focus on because they are closest to the News Channel 3 viewing area and most of our viewers would like to know more about that. No burn bans for Arkansas yet, none listed for Tennessee. Tennessee does not issue burn bans on, except on an exceptional need basis. We'll be watching again with a lot of interest to see if anything does get issued out across much of the Mid-South for that. In the meantime, much of what we're looking for for the rest of the day, we'll be seeing temperatures going back into around the mid to upper 80s or so and numbers back close to 90 degrees by the end of the day. So if we have any plans for any Anything involving showers or thunderstorms is going to be fairly isolated across much of the area and very mild conditions remain in the Mid-South as we go through tonight at News Channel 3 at 10 and all the way back into around News Channel 3 daybreak early tomorrow morning. Chances of rain, again, we've limited it to about 10% chance for today. Chances of showers and thunderstorms very isolated across the area, not much more expected than that. Lower 90s for Thursday with temperatures back in the lower 90s as we head into Friday and chances of showers and thunderstorms gone from the forecast as we get into the weekend and beyond. Numbers again not doing too bad for this time of the year past the weekend back in the lower to mid 80s and staying in the lower to mid 80s as we go through next week but also and unfortunately we're looking at chances of rainfall basically less than anything else to be expected at this time. So meeting will be coming up on Thursday the, 10, the 6th of October at Hardin County Fire Department Station number 12 in Savannah, Tennessee. More meetings follow after that including one for the area around DeSoto County that will be closest to the Shelby County area and that location to be determined as we get into the course of the next few days. Hopefully something announced in the next couple of weeks at least but Monday the 24th of October one week before Halloween 6.30 p.m. location TBD on that. Your chance to get severe weather updated on that and if you'd like to know more about severe weather possibilities and what's going on with the tropics join me if you're watching this beforehand for a coffee break weather that will be this morning at 10.15 on Facebook dot com slash WREG live video weather chat. Ask questions about the current drought situation and of course about the hurricane down into around the area of the Caribbean and the Western Atlantic. Contact me on Twitter, Aonic underscore WREG3 and also have more information on your forecast coming up throughout the rest of the morning on News Channel 3. Contact me at austin.onic at WREG.com for more information there. Complete check of your entire forecast coming up a little later on News Channel 3 live at 9 and of course on News Channel 3 at noon. And 
and Tim and Jim have your forecast this morning into this afternoon on first at four and following into tonight. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik from the News Channel 3 Weather Center. Thanks for joining me for the latest edition of News Channel 3's exclusive video weather blog, Weather Overtime.